Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Thanks for joining me. Uh, what do you say we go ahead and take on this boss? Uh, I've got 12,000 souls, so let's go back to uh, Firelink Shrine first. See if I can figure out what I could spend 12,000 souls on. And then uh, we'll go back to Anorlando and uh, see what's behind that big fog wall there. So I've got 12,000 souls. Um, gosh, what can I do with these souls? I mean... I don't want him to go to waste, because uh, that's what's going to happen if I go in and fight the boss. He's just going to beat me, and I'm going to, I'm going to lose them all. Uh, Twelve thousand souls. Um, hmm, what should I do with these? I really don't know. Um, so we'll just buy maybe some. Um, actually, let's go up. Oh, how many poison arrows do I have? I'm gonna go up and buy some from uh, Patches. Like, I don't know. How many do we need to level up? 19,000? Maybe let's level up. Maybe I'll just do that. So let's uh, eat one of these. How much is this worth? I'm worried it's worth 10,000, so I'm afraid to eat it. Oh, okay. I think I made the right choice. Uh, so I need about 2,000 more. And this might be 2,000 here. 3,000. Wow, we have a lot of souls saved up. That's fine. Welcome home, That's cool. Level up. So I'm going to do strength up again. Oh, which gives me a little bit more right hand weapon attack. A little bit. I mean, as, as little as you can get. One. But that's okay. Farewell, right. So with our thousand uh -huh. souls remaining, we'll top off our uh, wood arrows. Six hundred and fifty left. Um, see, feather arrows are good for distance, right? There. Ashen one. There. Now I don't have to, I don't need to worry about souls. So we will fast travel back to Anorlando, which I can't believe that we're in Anorlando. I did not expect there to be Anorlando in this game. And it's similar to the Anorlando from the first game, but it's also different. So, uh, I mean, it, this, I think I pretty much determined that this Anorlando is way later than the Anorlando from Dark Souls 1. So now, the problem with this freaking boss here is that you have to run through some pretty heavy opposition to get to him, and I have a feeling these jerks aren't gonna be cool. They're gonna chase me. Then you have all these guys in here shooting fire. But, uh, let's see if I can get past all these doofuses. Yeah, let's go in here. Let's see what the heck's going on. Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. Well, that sounds pretty scary and horrifying. Look at this guy. Okay. What you doing? Ah. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. So, he's got some kind of, um, spell that basically rains arrows down just in front of him, maybe? Ouch! Poke, poke, poke. Okay, here comes the... No? Oh, okay. Some kind of dark thing going on there. Oh, great. Now it's all mushy in here. That's not good. What does this guy have to say? Let there be love and then praise the chest. Okay. Uh... Okay, stop that, please. Okay, so being far away, son of a bitch, is not good either. Because then they just cast at you. Okay, and they cast right through shit. Okay, great. Alright. Oh, you're not gonna... Ouch. 
Oh, oh, okay. Well, a fair amount of damage this time to it, at least. Ow, that hurt. Didn't care for that. Where's it going? Somewhere over here. So I want to get up in its face. I want to get behind it, actually. Oh, what's this thing? Interesting. I wonder if... I don't know. I'm doing pretty much damage to it. So now we've got flameage. As if it wasn't hard enough. Okay, fire, and that's bad, okay. Alright, let's get up close and personal here. Oh, come on. Oh, where are you going? Come here. Come here, I can't poke you when you're over there. So that's like, I guess, dark magic there. Let's get over here. Oh, she's gonna do this. So, I try to get behind her when this happens. I'm still calling it a her. A she. Uh, am I gonna heal up or not? Ouch. Ah, missed. Okay, go over here now. Oh, where are you going? Don't run away from me. Ouch, ouch, ouch! Ouch! Uh, get up, jerk. Get up! Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, don't leave. Don't leave me yet. I, I have more poking to do. Much more poking. Okay, so now... Well... I was going to say we have fire to worry about. Damn. Heal up. This might hurt. Didn't hurt that bad. Okay. Over here now. Okay, here comes this bullshit. But I don't know how to get away from it. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Enough! Oh, shit. Heal. Heal! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, don't roll in the fire. Yes! Well, that wasn't too bad. Took me about 20 minutes. Not too bad. Man, when I first started fighting that thing, I thought, oh, hell, there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this, but it wasn't too bad. Cinders of a Lord, Soul of Aldrich. Uh, there's nothing in there. It was weird though, when I was, uh, I know there were a couple of times when I was fighting that there would be an item on the ground, but I'd see it like after I died, so whatever those items were, I never got to pick them up. Um, hey guys, what's up? I'm just looking to see if there's any items on the ground here, but it doesn't look like there is. That wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. All right, Cinders of the Lord and Soul of Aldrich. Whoa. What was that? What's going on? Some kind of machinery around here, it sounds like. It's kind of scary sounding. Um, Soul of Aldrich. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength used to acquire many souls or transpose to extract its true strength. When Aldrich, when Aldrich ruminated on the fading of the fire, it inspired visions of a coming age of the deep sea. Uh, it is a he. He knew the path would be arduous, but he had no fear. He would devour the gods himself. Okay. And then, uh, are the cinders in here? Or are they like a key? Right here, cinders. Cinders of a lord left by Aldrich, devourer of gods. If the lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. Aldrich became a lord by devouring men, but was disillusioned with his throne, and so took to, de and so took to devouring gods instead. Okay. Wow, we have 50,000 souls. Could this be a fine work? Okay. 
Uh, let there be love and then praise the chest. Okay. Get it? Praise the chest. Get it? Okay. And then, um... Be wary of loss of stamina and then time for pincher attack. Okay. Alright. Pretty neat place, huh? I wonder what's making all that racket. Who's making all that racket? Ah, there we go. Okay. Well, we are not going to go up there right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. We are going to go back. We're going to light this bonfire. And uh, this bonfire is called, appropriately enough, Aldrich Devourer of Gods. We're going to run back to Firelink Shrine and do a little bit of leveling up. And um, we'll see if we can get anything cool for this... Um, this soul, this twisted soul. So let's go up and talk to Ludleth here real quick. Let's see if he has anything cool in exchange. What you got, dude? Aha, that returns. Yes. Do you have anything new to say? Ah. Nope. Nothing new. Begin transposition. Okay. Um. Soul of Aldrich will get us this life hunt scythe. Spell Miracle of Aldrich, Devourer of Gods, steals HP of foes using an illusory scythe. Okay. Aldrich dreamt as he slowly devoured the god of the Dark Moon. In this dream, he perceived the form of a young, pale girl in hiding. Okay. And what else could we get from him? Uh, ooh, the Dark Moon Longbow. Longbow of Dark Moon Gwendolyn, who was gradually devoured by Aldrich. This golden bow is imbued with powerful magic and is most impressive with moonlight arrows. Skill Dark Moon Arrow. Infuse a readied arrow with Dark Moon Essence, granting it magic damage and the ability to pierce shields. Uh, huh. That's strange. Only requires seven strength. We could actually uh, wield this thing. I don't know if we want to. Uh, I mean, in its base form, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Um, but I certainly don't want the other spells. Let's go ahead and buy it. We'll play around with it a little bit. I don't know. Now, now. Do not be away. Overload. I'll be away as long as I want. What goes here? Oh, this must be it. Offer Cinders of a Lord. Is this the right place? Right? Let's do it. That's <laughs> so disappointing. I mean, th th something should happen <laughs> when you do that. Something should happen. But nope, nothing. Nothing at all. Time for mount. Okay. All right, well, there are some more cinders there. That's why we're doing this, right? Let's see if she's anything new to say. Welcome home, speak. Ashen one. Nope, Swan same Ashen stuff. One. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could level up, but uh, maybe I don't want to? Um, before we level up... Well, let's see. Um, is Grey Rat still down, still down there? Yes, he is. Uh, gosh. So, 45,000 souls. Um, should I be using a different weapon? I don't know. I really like the weapon that I'm using. Um, let's see. I I'm looking at stuff that has good uh, dexterity scaling. I mean, there's the dagger there. Um, let's see. What else do we have that scales well? Uh, this Astora Greatsword scales well with dexterity, but it requires 16 strength, and I just got to 14. Come on, give me a break. Um, but that might be interesting to use, although this sounds like it requires um, scales to upgrade, I'm going to guess. I don't know, just because it has the name of store. I could be wrong. Let's see, what else? Uh, here we got the scimitar. Uh, Rotten Groove Curved Sword also scales well with dexterity. The Cell Sword Twin Blades, that's what we started the game with. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> hey, look how well this, this weapon scales. I should use this weapon. Oh, that's the weapon I'm using. Um, 
That's weird. This thing doesn't scale at all. <laughs> Interesting. What else? Huh, Yorshka's Spear. Hmm. Now this will definitely require scales to level up, because I think I think I got this from Ludleth, didn't I? I think. I don't remember. But it requires 18 strength and 13 faith. I don't have either. Uh, let's see, Arster's Spear plus two. This is what I was using for a while. This also requires scales to upgrade. A, just a plain old pike and a great scythe. Um. Hmm. Interesting. The Pontiff Knight Great Scythe has a scaling with dexterity, but requires 12 faith, and I really don't plan on upgrading my faith. Especially not four times just to use that thing. Um. It's pretty neat, though. Huh. So I was trying to think of a weapon I could use. So I, I have a pokey weapon, but I wouldn't mind having a good, maybe slash weapon is what I want. Is it slash I want? Um, I mean, I could just do the Great Scythe. It does bleeding. Um, I wonder. Let me, uh, let me, let me wield it and see what I think about it. Where is it? It's not down in the shields, I'll tell you that. Great scythe. Oh my. Hmm, interesting. So that's um, L1. Okay. Or this, this is standard attack. This is... Ooh, that, that's probably pretty good, right? That's uh, strong attack. We have um, roll and slash with uh, standard attack. I don't think roll... Oh, there's roll and strong attack. That was kind of interesting. Can I kick with this? I can! Okay. I have the hardest time kicking. Here we go. Okay. Uh, and then... Okay, we got that. And... Let's see, I put it two-handed. We have that, and that, and so I have my uh, uh, jump attack. Let me see if I can remember how to do it. I don't remember how to do a jump attack. It's been so long. Um, hmm. Maybe this one doesn't do a jump attack. Because I thought it was... Huh. Wow, okay. I'm not seeing a jump attack. There it is. Okay, so must must not be able to do a jump attack with two hands. I don't know. I have so many shards. Let's let's just go ahead and upgrade it, and we'll just play around with it. It might be fun to try a different weapon, right? Yeah. Let's just let's just do that. Ah, just what neat. So let's. Uh, should we infuse it with something? If we infuse it, will we lose its? Um, because right now it does bleed. I believe. Where'd it go? the hell? Oh, here it is. See, right now you can see additional effects. Um, if you come down here, bleed affects strength. The higher this value, the quicker the bleeding will come into effect. If I infuse this thing, will I lose that effect? You know? I don't know. Well, actually, it'll tell me right here, won't it? So, I could do... Oh man, look at all these. I could do the sharp great scythe to so it scales better with uh, dexterity. Um, I could do let's see refined. I don't know what refined does. Refined gem. I don't even remember the the refined gem. Huh. It's interesting. I don't know what refined gem does. Do you see anything that it's doing there for me at all? Oh, it. Uh, I see it. It changes my strength scaling from E to C. Uh, this raw gem um, removes attributes, attributes bonus sc scaling. Crystal gem, okay, allows it to scale with intelligence. Simple gem uh, gives it some magic damage. 
and scales it with magic or with intelligence. Fire gem removes scaling but gives it fire damage. Chaos gem, whoa, chaos gem's weird. Gives it fire damage. Plus it gives it scaling with intelligence and faith. Whoa, bizarre. Lightning gem worsens my uh, dexterity scaling. It gives us a little bit of faith scaling. Same with this one. The blessed gem. Deep gem removes scaling and gives us dark, but it also removes a. It, it reduces our bleeding from 34 to 33. That's weird. Man, dark gem gives us dark. Blood gem ups my bleeding a little bit. Gosh, poison gem also adds poison. Man, and then hollow gem. I think that's what you use to remove everything. I think. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to try it out. So if I don't do anything to it. It does 105 plus 40, does 145 physical damage, plus the 34 bleed. Uh, if I infuse it with a sharp gem, it initially lowers my physical damage, but as I upgrade it, it'll get better. This is... I really don't know what to do. I kind of want to do something different. Um, I mean, we could, do, we could add lightning to it. That might be fun, right? I mean, that does a lot of damage. Um, but, ah, gee whiz, I don't know. I always kind of hesitate to do this kind of thing. Uh, we already have bleed on it. Let's just leave it with bleed, I guess. Let's see if I like it first. Hopefully I could infuse it after I've reinforced it. I can, can't I? So let's reinforce it a bit. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're going to spend some Titanite Shards. Great Scythe 1. Great Scythe 2, Great Scythe 3, and this is as far as we could go because that we're out of large Titanite shards, which just blows my mind. Do you care like that? I don't think I have any more Estus nah, shards. Geez, wasn't he? Nah, I don't. See anything new to say? Weapons and no. Blah 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 blah. So, okay. be careful 